thing gets a little upside down if you <laughs> but ooh, ooh, look at the size of that boom you thought that small black hole over there was good nah bro this this is the biggest black hole that you can get in the HBM nuclear tech mod here is 13 items you should not drop in the HBM nuclear tech mod we're gonna start off with number one the dead man's detonator now this is okay by itself but the minute you link it up with another explosive and then you drop it, that's when the real problem happens. I haven't done that, so that's just the dead man's detonator by itself. Next we have is the dead man's explosives. Now you certainly do not want to toss this out of your inventory because that's a lot of damage. That will ter certainly take out anybody that's around you as well. So if you get killed, that'd be like your uh, last stand, basically. Next we have our suspended demon core. Now this is not too much by itself because it's not been dropped yet. But the minute we drop this bad boy, bad things start happening. Well, not really to anything else, but just to us because we're getting 100,000 rads per second. That's not a fun time. I mean, personally, I'm not getting, yep, see, look at that. Total environmental radiation, 100,000 rads per second. Now, that's not a good thing to have in your inventory. Next we have is our artificial zen crystal. This thing gets a little upside down, if you will. <laughs> that is great. So, if you want a little island for yourself or any of your friends, family, or whatever, just drop an artificial zen crystal and away you go. cool thing that you also get is a bunch of upside down animals. And next we have our antimatter cluster. Oh, look at that. We have a nice cluster of cows here for an antimatter cluster. Go ahead and drop that. Boom. Now, you think it would kill them. It killed some of them. But apparently, it also switched them from regular cows to mushrooms, which is absurd. I don't think that was part of the original. Look at that. It's a big radius, too. Let's try it again with the antimatter cell. Boom. Instant. Mushrooms. All right. Next, we have the antiscorbidium cell. Now this is, oh, I'm just going to show you what it does. You know that factory that was here five seconds ago? And now we are on to the more dangerous and more powerful stuff. So first things off, we're starting with the regular singularity. Look at that. It's not too big, but certainly it is sucking that chicken right in. Look how much sand it's sucking in. Now, you, you already noticed that it's getting smaller by the minute. So, like, it's it doesn't stay around for long. See? Like, I give it, like, maybe a minute at the most. Not, like, 30 seconds. It, does, it stopped pulling in blocks now. It's pretty much collapsing on itself. Boom. It just blinks out of existence. Next, we have our superheated resonating singularity. This one is also the same color, but it's slightly bigger, so that's exciting. And we're going to go ahead and do our contained counter-resonant singularity as well, while that one's doing its nonsense. See, they're really not that much different. Same color. All right, next we have our good old miniature black hole. Now this guy, something else. Now he doesn't do much. I mean, he does do a lot. But he, he doesn't just disappear like these little weak things over here. He's no weak singularity. He's a strong black hole right there. So he's going to be around for a while. All right, next thing we have is our spark singularity. Now, just like every other singularity, it probably has a shelf life. But ooh, ooh, look at the size of that. That is pretty cool. I think it's actually growing in a little bit. Now, boy, oh boy, am I glad I'm not in survival mode right now. Our black hole's still going, like I said. The black holes do stay for a long time. It's pulsating, which would make sense. I mean, it is a black hole after all. You know what? Enough with these peasants. Weak. I'm going to go with something a little stronger. Boom. Digamma particle. You thought that small black hole over there was good? Nah, bro. This is the biggest black hole that you can get in the HBM nuclear tech mod. And it's better than that one because it's not... Freaking disappearing out of existence. This one stays. You can drop 15 of these bad boys if you want. I do have to say the miniature black hole is also really nice because it does actually stay. It exists. See, look at that. Singularity is just like giving up on life already. Stupid. But here it is, the diagamma freaking black hole. This is probably the worst item you can drop. Because this 
this stays for quite a long time, until you drop an antimatter cluster into it, and then it disappears. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this very informative video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.